A call is sent out to select more women to serve in Parliament around the region. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Saunders, and this is the weekend edition of The Bahamas Tonight. Women were urged to make their presence felt despite being the minority in Parliament. The issue, one of the areas being discussed at the 41st Commonwealth Parliamentary Association's Regional Conference underway at the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island. Women involved in the parliamentary process from various Caribbean islands and the Americas met in closed sessions discussing their political leadership. Chairing the session, Minister of Transport and Aviation, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, described the CPA's women's branch as a great congregation. She noted that the number of women represented in parliaments around the region and the world is low. Indicators in our social reality which reflect the tremendous progress women have made over the generations in almost every strata of society. We've contributed greatly in leadership levels in business, in the judiciary, in the public service, and on and on. But at the political level, even where women have in a few instances attained highest office, prime ministers, there is a stubborn status quo where despite our numbers in the population, we continue to be represented as a small minority group in parliament throughout the region. This phenomenon, as we have seen, which is manifest worldwide, really, when you look at the, the so-called first world countries, you see the same thing has incited many analyses and writings by political and social scientists, among others. They query, why this disparity? They analyze cause and effect. They ask, does it really matter that we are not proportionally represented in our parliaments? And many of us ask ourselves the same questions. And we have seen that this subject matter, even at conferences such as this CPA conference, can lead to heated debate, especially with many of our male counterparts. Minister Hannah Martin also told her regional counterparts that a better world can be achieved when the voices, vision and challenges of women are more proportionately integrated into the political process and human development. While we have this incredible opportunity, let's do all that we can to change the world, one constituency at a time. And as members of this CWP, let us go back to our respective states and execute our agreed strategies. We started talking this morning about the strategies and create new ones to cause for more of our Caribbean sisters to step forward for public service. Let us prepare ourselves to agitate within our political organizations to have a heightened awareness of the necessity to select more women as viable candidates for election to parliament. Let us continue to push forward for fundamental change. 